portrait background requirements are going to be a gradient background with at least two colors making the gradient. Now we're going to pretend this is finished. This is not finished. I do not have the um, color work finished yet. Um, now the doesn't really affect the background so you can do your background at any point. Um, it does affect burning and dodging, but I'm not even going to show the burning and dodging yet because I don't know that you'll quite get to the burning and dodging. I will do it later this week, but I have to come into school to do these, so um, we'll see if I get to it tomorrow. So when I turn these layers off, I can see that I did some accidental uh, touch-up on my um, background layer, but not a big deal. But when I turn that background off, I still have these gaps that need to be cleaned up. Okay, um, The lips and eyebrows, at some point before you burn and dodge, they also have to merge with the colors. So I made them on a separate layer and then I so that I could lower the opacity and make them blend in a little bit better, but I will have to merge them with my color layer once I finish cleaning up the color. So I'm going to do the background so that that's a step that you could already get completed. So for the background, you just simply go to your gradient tool, double click on it. Now I'm not sure if you're using GIMP, if you'll get that. Oops, it's not giving me, here we go. My color menu, so I'm gonna go to the, you can use some of these pre-existing two color ones. I don't want orange, I wanna use blue. I don't like that blue. So I'm going to click on this red and green one, and but I'm going to change it to blue. So I'm going to change, mm, yeah, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to do a lighter blue. Um, yeah, something like this. Say OK, and then I'm going to do a darker blue. Maybe not that dark. Now, I can go through and just do a linear gradient all the way across. So I look, I've got mine fixed up here. Oops, <laughs> big mistake. Don't do it on your line work layer. Make sure you're on your background layer. Lock these other layers. Lock, lock, and lock. Okay, so I'm going to do my new gradient over here. My color swatches are on my color layer, so I'll clean them up once I'm finished with that. Um, this is okay. I think what I want to do is I want to do a radial one. So I'm going to click on the radial button up here in the top menu. And I'm going to do drag this out. Hmm, not bad, but I think I'm going to go with the dark in next to his face. He's very light complexion, so I like the light in there. Um, I'm going to go a little shorter. Oh, that's my light. So what I want to do, instead of just dragging it the opposite way, that's not too bad. Let's see if I can start from this corner. Get what I want. No. So see how it's dragging that off? So I'm going to go into this, and I'm going to just swap sides. Oops. Careful to drag them off. So I'm going to swap sides here, say OK, and then I'm going to drag out from the center because it's giving you that radiant point, and this is what I'm looking for. So I'm going to pull it out further and kind of like that. Maybe I don't go quite as far. Yeah, I like that. The darks are highlighting his head. So there's my gradient background. 